The weather is finally cooling down and I'm so happy that fall is here. We will be doing some fall decorating today in this video as I reset my home for this month. Also changing some things around in our office and cleaning and tidying. I hope that you can reset or get inspired by watching this video and doing this with me. I have all of these diapers that are brand new that Levi grew out of, so I'm going to donate those. I'm not really cleaning, but I am tidying as I go through and see things that need to be wiped down. And of course, as I go through my own room and my boys' room, I'm always looking for things that might need to be shifted around or possibly decluttered if they've grown out of certain items in their closet. I'm finally getting around to moving the furniture and giving this room a really good vacuum. This is a shag rug that we had in our previous home. And it works great in here to absorb a lot of the noise and it's cozy for Levi to walk on, but it is hard to vacuum. Now I went by Costco and I stocked up for this month buying a lot of the things that I like to get from there. Here's what I got from Costco. These chips we like, four loaves of bread, two sardo, two of this white bread, some granola cereal, frozen fruit, two jars of spaghetti sauce. We haven't tried this kind before. A bunch of bananas, cookies, bars for lunches, and some tomatoes. Emmett likes to take a Pop-Tart once in a while, so there's that. We're gonna try this big bag of pancake mix. All you do is add water, which would be really good for the kids, and they're the only ones that eat pancakes. And then we have the protein powder, and I love having these. Uh, they're so affordable from Costco, and then the big thing is Skippy, which is also super good deal. I'm now just putting everything away, trying to organize it in the best way that makes sense for everyone to be able to get to these things. And I don't know why lately, it just seems like we either have a ton of stuff, we're all stocked up, and then we eat through it super fast, and then we're down to absolutely nothing, or just a few cans of things, and then I have to run out and stock up again. I guess that's normal, but I don't know why we're going through food really fast over here, maybe because my boys are getting a little older. We also do not have an ice machine on purpose. We don't really want to risk the possibility of an ice machine flooding. And it is pretty easy to redo the ice, but I have to keep up on that because of the warmer days, we've been going through ice a lot faster. And then I do like to freeze a lot of bananas because we make smoothies really often and having the bananas frozen makes the smoothie almost like a shake. And my boys and I just love that. Fall is my favorite time of the year. My birthday is in October, maybe that's part of the reason, but ever since I was a kid, I have always loved fall. I feel like summer is great, but it's usually so hot in the summer here in California that by the time we get to fall, we're just looking for that break with the weather. And actually this year, it has felt like fall really early in the season because normally, uh, September is one of the hottest months and it's been really cool and we've had a lot of rain and misty mornings so it has just been wonderful this year and I am just staying on top of the laundry here and folding our sheets and things like that. I'm trying to fold them right out of the dryer so they're less wrinkly and always get things put away as soon as possible. This is something that I've had in our garage wanting to do for quite a while. This is just a simple no soliciting sign that I purchased off of Amazon. I can link it down below. I asked Grant to put this up. We had so many people coming to our door trying to sell things that I wrote my own hand sign. You can see here, handwritten, terrible looking, and I wanted to get a proper sign just to let everyone know they don't need to knock on our door because we're not gonna be buying anything from them. And then another task that I have on my big list of things to do is to clean all the windows. And I'm just doing this door today, but in the future, I still want to spend a little time doing all the windows because of the storms we had. We have a lot of dirt and grime on our windows right now. While I don't go all out with seasonal decor, for fall, I do like to add a few little touches here and there, usually with mostly natural decor, which I will add later in the season as the pumpkins come out and the flowers, 
I don't want to add that too early because then it will all go bad by the time fall is really kicked in, but I'm just adding some colorful things that I already had and I do this every year. This is a tea towel my mom had bought me from one of the trips she was on and it's so pretty. I wanted to add it here just to add a little pop of color and that's the great thing about little simple pieces of decor that could be used throughout the year in different ways. I did end up getting a fall wreath. This is something that I've been thinking about for probably two years now. Every fall rolls around and I really want to have a fall wreath with all of the wonderful warm colors and this is something I did decide after a lot of thinking that I want to purchase because I don't keep a lot of fall decor. This is something that I wanted. I also got these faux candles that are really awesome. They look real and especially the way the lights flicker and in general at night, these look so real. And I wanted these because I don't feel safe having lit candles in my home, plus all the fumes that it gives off. I just would rather have faux candles for fall and winter. And that's the great thing is I can keep these through all of winter and maybe even throughout the rest of the year. This was just a fun thing to put together, adding a tiny touch of fall to our fireplace. And we do have a big project coming up where we are going to be redoing the mantle on our fireplace. Right now we just have two tiny shelves as you saw and we are going to be ripping that down and putting up a proper wood mantle which I feel will make that whole area way more functional because I do like to add a little bit of decor on there. Those two little shelves make no sense. They're not even symmetrical. So I'm looking forward to that. That is something that Grant is going to be working on for me and for all of us in our home and it's gonna be great. Now moving on to our living room, we had switched this couch around. It normally swung out the other way, but we switched it around to try to block off Levi. When he started walking, we wanted to keep him corralled to this one area. When we're doing things, we wanna keep him safe. So we switched it around and then we ended up realizing that it actually didn't need to be switched around to hold the gate so I could switch it back and move one chair over. Anyways, this room is always evolving right now because of Levi. Pretty soon, I would say in the next six months, we will no longer need to keep him corralled in any kind of area at all because of course he will get used to being uh, listening and being more safe with things and we just won't have to worry about it as much. But right now we still have to keep him safe because he doesn't understand to not get into the kitchen when we're cooking and all that sort of thing. So right now I am actually moving the couch back into the configuration we used to have, which I prefer a lot more because the couch is curved towards the windows and towards the TV, it just feels a lot cozier. And then I'm bringing this chair back over here where previously we had both chairs holding up the fence. I now only have one chair holding up the fence and a little side table. So I'm taking these covers off. I had put the covers on there cause the kids had to climb on the chair to get over the gate. It's a whole situation <laughs> that I'm really looking forward to having this room back to normal in some kind of way. Now I did purchase this money tree from Home Depot. I saw it and it was calling out my name. We wanna add more greenery in this room and eventually some art on the walls, but I always like to add things into our home really slowly so it feels collected and it just doesn't feel like it's from a big box store right off the shelf. I like to get a lot of vintage items and just come across items when I feel it needs to be added and not feel rushed into any decisions. But this adding the greenery, my husband and I now walk by and say, wow, it just looks so nice in there with that little tree. And the good thing about it is if we don't like it one day, we could get rid of it. But for now, it's just adding a lot of happiness <laughs> to look at that tree. Now I'm switching out the pillow covers. I'm gonna have everything linked down below in case you're interested but we had some other pillow covers before that broke and were getting super worn out. So I did get these. It seems like I purchased maybe five or six things this season, but just adding these adds a pop of color and being orange, it makes it feel very fall and festive. Now moving on to my room, I'm just switching out my book. 
This is something that I started doing about a month ago. I started reading again. I feel like I never had time to read and then I realized, you know what, I was not making time for it. So I started making time to read and stopped working earlier in the night. If you don't know, I have a blog. I work on it all the time. Sometimes I'm up till midnight and I started to go to bed a little bit earlier and read before bed. I am loving it. I've already read four books so far and it just feels great to make some extra time for that because reading is something I've always loved doing. It's easy for me to say, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that, but I've realized I really need to carve out the time because you know we only have this one life and I wanna make the most of it. I did add this middle part to the desk. I had the part to the right and the part to the left previously in here, but I added that middle section to connect it all and there is a reason for that. And the biggest reason is I wanna start working and carving out some time for art. And I'm here hanging my headset. I am always charging this and using it every single day. So I wanted a dedicated place for this to go. And this worked great to hang this under here so I always know where it is. Now I'm just clearing off the desk and trying to tidy it up in here. What my point is, is I want to use this room for so many different things editing videos, working on my blog, working on art, and I'm going to start teaching Grant how to edit videos as well because he is going to start doing some of his videos and I would love for him to understand how to edit them and work on that himself. I think it would be really fun. So we're going to need more space in this room for working and that's why I added the desk. Also, I wanna mention that I am hanging all this stuff on this wall, but it is not going to stay looking like this. This will change because we are going to do away with the door. I have to untangle this plant a little more, but I already had this plant hanger, so this will go here in the corner. And like I said, I gotta figure this out a little bit more, but I think it's gonna look really pretty. And we're doing all this because we are gonna be making some changes in how we do our daily routines and all that kind of thing and so i'm trying to get this office reset and ready for that a benefit of being tall is grant does not need a step stool to do this so i let him do it for me because it's way easier without having to get a big ladder in the corner there now, one of my dresses that I absolutely love, people always ask me where I got this dress. I actually purchased it off Amazon, but one of the hems came loose, so I was just fixing that up by hand, which was way quicker and easier than getting my sewing machine out. Now, I'm also restarting my sourdough starter. I want to start working with that again, and here's a little spoiler alert. The other day, it actually grew mold, so I had to throw it out. That was so disappointing, but I'm not gonna give up. I think I will try it out again and start growing the starter again. But here's some quick little reset things I had to do around the house, tidy up the front porch after a lot of wind that we got, refill some things, and then I've been trying to bake a little bit more, making homemade bread and different things from home, from scratch, and that's why I wanted to start the sourdough starter again, because I wanted to start incorporating that into some of my recipes that I really love and see if I could just experiment more. I feel if I can experiment, sometimes it's more fun to be in the kitchen trying out new things. and. This is one of the only things I decant, which are flour and sugar and things like that because I find it way easier to have those in containers. And then I'm trying to also use up all the bananas that tend to go bad and the ones that I don't freeze and we keep out. If they go bad, I'm trying to make banana bread before it's just too late. So I am trying to get more inspired to be in the kitchen cooking more because it's not something that I really love, but maybe I can make myself enjoy it more by <laughs> forcing myself to do some experiments and things like that. I took one of my favorite banana bread recipes and added some sourdough starter to it and substituted some water out of the recipe and it came out really good, maybe a little bit 
too moist in the middle. So when I get the starter started up again, I will do a few more experiments. Now moving back into my office, I just needed to get this office reset and back in order, get everything off the desk that didn't need to be there and didn't belong in the room, put away and get everything hung up. I find I am way more productive when my workspace is nice and tidy and organized cleaned up and put together. And I also want this room to feel really bright and colorful and warm and cozy because I spend so much time in this room doing the editing of these videos and writing blog posts, also filming in this room. Whenever my mom comes over and we do a video talking, we use this room as our backdrop. So I just wanted to get it put together and organized. Here's some art I am still working on, but I'm gonna hang it on the actual door here because I don't wanna look at this ugly door anymore and Grant's gonna remove it soon and it will become wall, but until then, I'm gonna cover it. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this in a video before, but I have my bachelor's of fine art degree in painting and drawing. So again, I wanna make time for that and start working on things just for myself as a creative outlet. And getting this art up on the wall will be great. So when I can finish it one day, it can be hung somewhere else or maybe in this spot once this becomes the wall. And I wanna mention that I won't be having all this stuff here. This is just a placeholder for until I find the spots where I wanna put these things. I just wanna get them up and out of the way. And this will be where Grant will maybe be editing soon too. So a lot of fun things on the horizon and I feel great that I was able to reset my home and get everything in order. Thank you for being here. Make sure you hit the video on the screen to continue watching more and I'll see you soon. Bye.